Channing Tatum and the Belgian Malinois are stars of the big screen. Channing Tatum's new movie is out called Dog with the Belgian Malinois as his co-star. And all I have to say is, here we go again. I, I can't tell you how many times throughout the course of my career, uh, some television series or movie came out with some dog uh, and the dog was doing all these amazing things. And clearly people could see how intelligent the dog was. And there was always a spike in whatever the dog that was starring in whatever the movie or sitcom was, there would be a spike in these dogs uh, in the animal industry, the, you know, the, especially the pet, the pet industry. And it's happening again. Everybody wants a Belgian Malinois. Let me tell you, you do not want a Belgian Malinois. Remember this cute guy, Moose, the Jack Russell from the TV show Frasier? Oh, man, I remember that back in the 90s. Everybody wanted to go out and get a Jack Russell Terrier. And they didn't do any research. They had no idea what they were in for. They just saw this cute, little, intelligent, well-trained dog on the TV. So everybody wanted to go out and get a Jack Russell Terrier, okay? Uh, you know, like Belgian Malinois, Jack Russells are not for everyone. And how about Homeward Bound? I love this movie. Chance, the American Bulldog. Let me tell you, American Bulldogs are not for everyone. I love American Bulldogs. They're one of my favorite breeds, and I almost got one back in the day. Uh, you know, I'm a pit bull guy, so obviously I have an affinity for bully breeds. Uh, you know, and I absolutely love American Bulldogs, but they're not for everyone. And, you know, this, this movie came out, and they saw this gorgeous dog, you know, well-trained, doing all these things. His popularity rose, and, you know, it, it, it's just sad that, People see something like this and they make these impulse decisions. They don't do any research and they get in over their head. And I hope to God it doesn't happen again. I hope people have more sense nowadays. There is so much research and information at our disposal. I mean, it's practically impossible not to make an informed decision. I mean, you know, all people have to do is type a couple of keys on the computer or their smartphone and boom, they're going to pull up all sorts of information. They can do research and see if a breed is right for you. And I'm not going to get into breed selection. I actually did a whole video. It's in my, uh, my doggy quick tips playlist. I did a whole video on how to choose the right breed for you. And uh, let me tell you, and I think Belgian Malinois, I think they're gorgeous. I think they're beautiful. I think they're one of the most capable animals in the world. I'm a pit bull guy. I love athletic, capable, eager to please animals. You know, uh, that's that's what the the Mali is. You know, and I can tell you, you know, I'm, I'm you know I'm doing this since the '90s. I'm train um doing rescue since 2002. I've had my hands on tens of thousands of dogs over the years. Okay, um, I would not get a Belgian Malinois right now. I just wouldn't uh, at, at this stage of my life and in what I can offer a dog. Uh, I I don't have the capacity to provide that dog what it needs. Uh, again, they're amazing animals, but I mean, you have to be a very special person uh, and you have to know what you're getting into. And, you know, I, again, I hope this, this, this movie doesn't cause a spike in people getting it over their head, number one. Number two, probably more importantly, if demand rises, so, so will supply. And if supply rises, that means so will backyard breeding. So now we're going to have this extremely uh, gifted and capable animal being inbred by backyard breeders. God knows what is going to wind up on the street, right? Uh, I mean, it, it really, it, it takes two seconds to do a little bit of research to see if a dog is right for you. Now here's one quick example. Just hop over to the American Kennel Club, type in, you know, Belgian Malinois and pull up I mean, it'll give you everything. You know, it'll give you the, the breed traits and characteristics, uh, you know, to see if this is the right dog for you. Uh, but don't stop there. Reach out to like breed clubs. Uh, there's social media groups that people can guide you and help you pick out the right, right breed. Uh, you know, I mean, and, you know, you're probably seeing, you know, Mally's doing all these crazy things. And like, <laughs> that doesn't happen by chance. These dogs, they're trained you know, over the course of a long period of time to get to that level of reliability in their behavior. And I can tell you a dog like a dog like a, a Belgian Malinois, if it's even the littlest bit understimulated in a regular domestic home, 
you're going to have problems. Okay. So again, just hop on the American Kennel Club. Again, you can go through all this. It goes through everything. It's affection level. What's good with children or the dog, strangers, the grooming, coat length, everything. Everything is here. Trainability level. This is probably the most, uh, I, I don't want to say misleading, but for, for lack of a better word, misleading category here, the training, training, trainability level, you know, it's, it's the highest eager to please. Right. And with that also comes the propensity for a dog to get bored very e easily when they're highly in intelligent, like a Mali, they constantly need to be stimulated. Okay. Uh, again, it takes a few minutes to see if a dog is right for you. Uh, and, you know, I pr I'm probably just doing this video just so at least if I could talk one person out of getting one, uh, then I did my job because again, uh, and it's not just Mallies. I mean, I, I could probably choose uh, 150 different breeds of dogs that are not right for everyone. But again, this this movie just came out with Channing Tatum and this dog, and you know the dog is clearly amazing. Uh, you know, and it, it's people are going to see it and they're going to want one. And uh, you know, so if I can get through to at least one person and have them pause, take a step back, hop on the internet, do a little bit of research, talk to other Mali owners then maybe I did my job, you know? So uh, again, you know, it, it, it happened with, you know, uh, Frazier's Moose in, in the sitcom. It happened with American Bulls of the Homeward Bound. Um, you know, it, and I, you know, Homeward, I would say the American Bulldog is, is, is close in, in as far as the Mali, just because it's a large, powerful, athletic animal. Um, but, you know, the, the Frazier Jack Russell, that took everybody by surprise. They didn't realize that they were getting a 175-pound dog and a 15-pound body. <laughs> right? Again, a little bit of research, they probably would have uncovered that. So, again, if you're on board with this whole Belgian Malinois thing, uh, please take a step back. Uh, do just a little bit of research. Talk to other Mali owners. Uh, and, and I hope, again, not to hammer it home, but, again, with, with – when Hollywood comes out with something, everybody wants to jump on board. Please take a step back, do a little bit of research, okay? And you know what? With all these dogs that are up for adoption anyway, go to your local shelter or rescue. Meet some dogs, right? Don't always choose dogs based on looks or what you see, uh, you know, in, in other areas. Go meet, bond. That's how you choose a dog, okay? So, again, I'm not going to beat a dead horse, but, uh, you know. Hollywood has a strange way of, of influencing people. So uh, hopefully we don't see a spike in Belgian Malinois walking along, walking the streets of everyday neighborhood with people and owners that are in over their head uh, because it is not a breed for everyone. So that's it. That's my spiel. I'll shut up. Uh, you know, listen, if you're new to my channel, take a peek around. If you like what you see, consider subscribing to my channel. And, you know, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And, you know, if you agree or disagree with what I'm saying, that's okay. That's cool. Drop a comment below. But, you know, if you're going to drop a comment below, you know, uh, at least offer some helpful information for any other people who are going to see these comments. I don't want this to be arguing and back and forth because, uh, you know, the purpose of something like this is to help educate people to at least take a step back and think twice. Uh, so please feel, you know, comment below. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm always open for dialogue and an exchange of ideas. So uh, I'll shut up now. Thanks again, guys. I'll see you soon.